couch, I'm watching TV, and I open the door up to let my dogs out. And I left the door open because it was, you know, it was nice out. Nice out. And nice out. And I'm sitting there, and I, and I live on a hill by myself, gated. I look over, and here comes this strange man walk into my front door and gets ready to walk into my house and i said excuse me do i know you the guy goes no i don't know you i'm just in town and i told my friend i was going to find out where kenny wallace lived a strange fan because my it was all timing walked right into my house i said well you're that far hold on let me get my cell phone <laughs> that was that was my protection advice so I put it on social media, and the fans couldn't believe it. Well, you're one of the guys who used to like social media. All these guys don't like it. Well, it, 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 listen, it, it's it's like my brother, he won't mind me quoting him on this. My brother, Rusty, asked me at Bike Week this year. He said, uh, tell me about that social media, why you want it. I said, well, that's the way I sold sponsorship. You know, and my, my, my sponsors liked me being on TV because I did, I was with Fox. I worked with Bob Hockrass for 15 years. Bob got his job later, but my, my, my sponsors were like, uh, we're going to sponsor your, your cup car because you're on TV. And that's the way I skinned the cat. And then social media too. But I told Rusty, I said, you and your wife don't need to be on social media, but your nine car dealerships do. So I was... Right? That's right. Well, this is a pretty special weekend. I mean, you get like, the gangs all here, story time and all that. It's pretty nice to be back here on this kind of weekend, isn't it? It's everything to me to see Biff. He's one of my heroes, one of the greatest race car drivers in NASCAR history. He, he always drove loose. He was always lapping me. I'm like, God, he can, <laughs> he can, he can drive. Oh, It's nice being back, isn't it? And it, it is. It's great to be back. And, uh, you know, it's, it's catching up with these guys and the stories. The most fun is the van ride down to the parade <laughs> with 15 of these guys telling stories in the van. You know, and back, like, you remember this, you remember that, when we did this, and it's just great to reminisce and get back together and, and uh, great to be back at the track and see these guys do their stuff. My, my favorite story in there a little bit ago was uh, Jeff Bodine looked at, Ron Hornaday and Mike Skinner and said, both of you guys spun me out. <laughs> and, 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 and the Hornaday and Skinner said, yep, we did. And uh, yeah, there's mother, brother Mike, but yeah, those, those uh, it, it's fun. I told Mike when we got, I said, now be ready. I said, these guys still got egos. I said, it's like, it's like, it, it's like Bobby Allison and Richard Petty are still fighting. To this day. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, you were nominated for the next class in the Hall of Fame. Just where were you when you heard the news? What was your reaction? You know, it's funny. I was sitting in a uh, carpool to pick my son up from from school, and, and Wayne Otten called me and told me that uh, I was nominated and and all that. So it was uh, it was pretty overwhelming experience, you know, to get that phone call. I was pretty excited about it.